Mass torture. Millions, perhaps billions of rare and threatened frogs face torture and decimation. Right now, as you watch this, millions of frogs across the world are being tortured, maimed and killed. It's estimated that in Asia alone, between 180 million and a billion frogs are currently stolen from the wild each year for use in traditional medicine. In Laos, tiny rice paddy frogs are dipped into boiling oil and fried alive before being added to curries and stews, boiled in soups or barbecued on an open flame. In Vietnam and Japan, live bullfrogs are served to diners, filleted while their hearts are still beating. In China, Asiatic grass frogs, a protected species, are butchered for use in traditional medicine. Hasma is made with the fallopian tubes of dried up female frogs and is supposed to help consumers look younger. Video footage from Cambodia shows frogs kicking and squirming in pain as their snouts and rear legs are cut off with scissors. Still alive, they are thrown in a pile of other maimed frogs and left to endure a slow death. These frogs are not only massacred for their legs, they are also turned into trinkets and curios for the tourist industry. In Europe and the United States, an exploding exotic pet trade sees glass frogs plucked from tropical rainforests and stuffed into tiny glass containers destined for the pet trade. Frogs across the world are still used in classroom dissections and teaching exercises in a harrowing process known as pithing. Pithing leaves the frogs defenseless while students cut them open and attach electrodes to their exposed leg muscles after peeling off their skin. The cruelty involved in these practices is so extreme that we demand that governments around the world take heed of it. The havoc with nature caused by this trade has potentially irreversible negative consequences for the entire planet. This means that taking them out of the mix has a really big impact on lots of other animals. Their diet includes mosquitoes, lowering the transmission risk of killer diseases including dengue fever, malaria, West Nile fever and Zika. At the moment, frogs are racing headlong to extinction. But if we act now to stop international trade, we will immediately give the frogs a better chance of survival. Every single animal life is important. So please, support us in our efforts.